Um. Sure. Let's try. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Whoa, no. Oh my god, okay. It's delayed. It's delayed. Nice. Okay. Nice. Really nice. Stop. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the timing is Come on, bitch. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Heal. Should have healed twice. Oh jeez, can you... Oh my god, are you serious? That AoE? Wow, what an asshole, Radagon. That's something an asshole would do. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. Bitch! Oh my god, what? That's... All right. Even though I was completely annoyed last time because I had just finished uh, fighting Melania when I was doing this fight, Radagon is my favorite fight of the game. Thing... This moveset is pretty cool, and I think once you get in the grind of it, it's really nice, that fight. Elm Beast is alright, but Radagon, I love it. And I really feel like he should be the one that heals with every attack, not Melania. Alright. One. Two. Nope, just two. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's stop it. Heal. Boom. Oh no, I forgot. Stop! Woo! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bitch. Heal. Uh-huh. Bitch! God damn. Come on, dude, like, can, can you take longer healing? Oh my god. Heal. I should probably put more health potions for this fight. What's that delay, dude? That's never been there before. Alright, let's see if I can dodge it this time. It's a little bit delayed. God damn it, dude.
What the f So how are you supposed to dodge that one? Okay, it's not not smart. Jesus dude. So yeah, let's actually go ahead. Flasks. We'll do this. Alright. Third time is the charm. Alright man. I'm tired. Okay, that was not a good idea. Heal. Aha, uh -huh, let's get into a rhythm. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Honestly. Heal. What the fuck? No! Whoa! 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 Okay, heal. Really? Dude, how the f am I not dodging that? Oh my god. How are you supposed to dodge that, honestly? Dude, what the f is that AoE? The spells get me even when I'm not in range. That's awesome. Wow, dude, how the f am I not dodging? Come on, get up. I have one potion left for Elden Beast. Oh my god, what the fuck. Alright, no potions left, very nice. Do this. Do this. Alright. Can't see shit. You wanna get stunned? No, doesn't wanna. Oh boy, what is that? What is that? Oh. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh no! What is this? Jesus Christ! What? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god, I have no stamina.
Come on, dude! Don't blow up! Do this. Do this. Come on. Oh, not again. Woo! Jesus. You get staggered. Oh. Come on, dude. I don't know what you're doing. Is this right again? Is this no? What the fuck? Oh my god! All right, let's keep running. Nice. Boom! No! <gasps> what the fuck is going on? What the hell? I don't know what's going on. <gasps> oh! Nice! First attempt, Elden Beast. Not Radagon, but Elden Beast with no potions. How nice. Alright. Well. All right, so first things first, let's level up. Oh, 29, all right, nice, arcane 30. So I'm level 231, that's nice. Now, as for the ending, so look, if I come here, touch fractured mark, I can pick any of these three endings, but I'm not going to. Because that's kind of like the same ending we saw in the first playthrough, although you didn't see it, but whatever. <laughs> I'll do Rani's ending, which is a bit different, I think. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Let us go together.
my dear consort eternal. All right. So I don't sit on the tr on the throne this time. World created by Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R. R. Martin. I guess this is a good time to give my thoughts and prayers about the game. So the game is incredibly good. One of the best games I've ever played. I'd give it something like a 9.3 out of out of 10 or something like that. Uh, everything is almost everything is just incredible, like mind blowing. The next gen feel of this game is mind blowing, and I had never played a Soulsborne game, so like it's incredible. Everything is incredible. Everything, everything is incredible. Uh, I just have a few gripes with the game. Mainly, there's a couple, and by a couple, it's it's a good amount of inconsistent mechanics in the game like fall damage, like poise, and yeah, a couple more I can remember right now. And there's a few areas that just suck. The consecrated snowfield sucks dick. I don't like that there's fog everywhere. I don't like that they hide things in the fog. And I don't like a couple of puzzles which are just impossible to figure out. Like, unless you Google them, there's no way anyone would ever figure that shit out. So, um, I also don't like that there aren't any markers, which makes it very probable that you're going to miss shit. Because I'm a completionist, I like completing shit. And I don't like Melania at all. I think it's very spammy, very cheaty, and I think there's no balance, and it's awful boss design. I really think that. I don't enjoy it. Even if you can learn her moves, I don't enjoy it. But... All of that is like 7% of the game for me. The other 93, I love it. And by love it, I mean incredibly. I still have a couple of things to do. Let's go and cash in the remembrances, I guess. By the way, the story I found really cool. There's a couple of things that are still unclear to me, but I think I got most of the story and it is very good. All right. Uh, Remembrances, so yeah, so I'll do the giant's red braid So let's go with this one I'm gonna go bastard stars. I don't really think this is that great mm -hmm. Lich dragon So this might be one of the ones I want to duplicate so I'm gonna get this first one I'm pretty sure I have that one so I'll go for the grafted dragon, right? I'll do the scepter and may I'll try and duplicate it to see if I can get the moon. Oh, I have this one, so we'll go for the blasphemous blade. So we'll go for the star skirt sword. Ah, fuck it, I'll do this one just to have one of each. All right, blood moon I already have it, so we'll do Mogwin sacred spear. We'll do Melania's scarlet Aeonia. We'll do. Malekith's Black Blade. Alright, we'll get the Earth Shaker. Blessed Dusax Ruin. And for Elden Beast. Ooh, we'll go for Marcus Hammer because I already have this one. Alright, very nice. So I have to duplicate just Fortisax and Renala, and the rest just whichever I want. But yeah, now we'll go and get all the walking mausoleums. There's seven of them, and just duplicate some remembrances. Okay. So uh, we need Fortisax and Renala. Actually, let's do Renala first. Boom. Boom. Jeez. Okay, so for this one, we'll do Lich Dragon. Okay, Enya. So, we'll get the Waves of Darkness. We'll get this one. We'll get this one. We'll get another Hand of Melania, we'll get another Dragon King's Crag Blade, and another Sacred Relic Sword. Very nice! Alright people, well, that's the end of the second playthrough in which I followed a guide to make sure I completed everything. So all the storylines are complete, all the bosses, everything. Very nice, now I feel like this is a completionist playthrough. So yeah! 
Next thing we're gonna explore is the online, the PvP, because that is nice, dude. It's nice. It's hard, but it's nice. We'll see. 